All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word of sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, this is breaking news. This just came out on BBC News. And um, this is uh, coronavirus declared global, global health emergency by who? All right, so basically there's a World Health Organization that declared a global emergency due to this coronavirus getting out of hand. And it then traveled from Wuhan, China, to basically all around the world. So it says, uh, the new coronavirus has been declared a global emergency by the World Health Organization as the outbreak continues to spread outside China. The main reason for this declaration is not what is happening in China, but what is happening in other countries, said Hu Chief Tedros Adhanom Jebereus. I guess how you say that last name, Jebereus. It says the concern is that it could spread to countries with weaker health systems. The death toll now stands at 170 people in China. All right, so the coronavirus, which is basically a pestilence, Okay, have taken out 170 people in China. It says the WHO said there have been 98 cases in 18 countries outside of the country, but no deaths. The WHO said there had been 98 cases in 18 countries outside of the country, but no deaths. All right. All right. I ain't going to go and read this whole thing. I'm going to play this video. Or willing to play. Well, we're dispensing it anyway. Ninety eight cases in eighteen countries outside China, including eight cases of human to human transmission in four countries, Germany, Japan, Vietnam, and the United States of America. So far, we have not seen any deaths outside China, for which we must all be grateful. Although these numbers are still relatively small compared to the numbers of cases in China, we must all act together now to limit further spread. The vast majority of cases outside China have a travel history to Wuhan or contact with someone with a travel history to Wuhan. We don't know what sort of damage this virus could do if it were to spread in a country with a weaker health system. We must act now to help countries prepare for that possibility. For all of these reasons, I'm declaring a public health emergency of international concern over the global outbreak of novel coronavirus. The main reason for this declaration is not because of what is happening in China, but because of what is happening in other countries. Our greatest concern is the potential for the virus to spread to countries with weaker health systems and which are ill prepared to deal with it. Let me be clear. This declaration is not a vote of no confidence in China. On the contrary, WHO continues to have a confidence in China's capacity to control the outbreak. All right, so there you go. Now, I want to just go to, um, it says, what coronavirus does to the body. Yeah, let's click on that. Because uh, this virus is like a flu symptom type virus or um, pneumonia type virus. It does, it attacks your respiratory. So you get fevers. You get muscle aches. You know, you get that uh, cloudy head. You feel all yucky, you know. 
Oh, let's see. And it's pretty lengthy too. Lung assault. Let me see what's up at the top. All right, it says lung assault. All of the 99 patients taken to the hospital had pneumonia. Their lungs were inflamed and the tiny sacs where oxygen moves from the air to the blood were filling with water. It says other symptoms were 82 had fever, 81 had a cough, 31 had shortness of breath, 11 had muscle ache, 9 had confusion, 8 had a headache, 5 had a sore throat. All right, now the first death was a 61 year old man. He had a severe pneumonia. All right, he was the first death. He died 11 days after he was admitted. All right, the second patient that had died, according to this coronavirus outbreak, a 69 year old man. Okay. He had an artificial lung. Yeah, so he was, they, you know, these older guys that had died. But they said in China there was, what, 100, I believe, and 70, if I'm not mistaken. I could go back. At least 10% died as of January 25th of the 99 patients. 57 was still in the hospital. 31 had a discharge. 11 had died. Middle-aged men were affected. Mm. All right. You know, and um, this is a man-made virus, all right, which is a lot of reports are saying it. Going back to 2015, I believe, in Can in Canada at a facility. Um, yeah, it was a hunt. It said the death toll now stands at 170 people in China. So 170 people died in China. But I believe it's way over 18 million quarantine. But anyway, you know, this is uh, the Most High's movie. Okay, and this is one of the Lord's prophecies. You know, and things like this is going to get actually worse. You know, because more and more people are going to actually die from pestilences, man. So this is also, you know, 2nd Edges 9 when the Lord said he's visiting the earth in which he made. So I just want to read this quick scripture. This is Exodus chapter 5 and verse 3. And they said... The God of the Hebrews have met with us. Let us go, we pray thee, three days journey into the desert and sacrifice unto the Lord our power, lest he fall upon us with pestilence or with the sword. All right, because right now, you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, West Indians, Haitians, Hispanics, Native Seminole Indians, all right, so-called Haitians, you supposed to be Serving Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You supposed to be giving honor and glory and praises, all praises to the Heavenly Father, okay, which is the Heavenly Father's name is Yahweh, his son's name is Yahweh Shai. And not being caught up in your own liberty, you know, for the lust of the eyes, man, you know, having the love of this world, okay. Uh, what's that? Uh, all right, let me get this. Uh, of the scripture real quick. You know, because, um, let's get it. This is First John chapter 2. Now, this is First John chapter 2. And 14. It says, I have written unto you, fathers, because ye have known him that is from the beginning and that's what it's about coming back into your inheritance all right you know the, you know the lord told us that we shall what discontinue from our inheritance and now is the time to return okay it says because ye have known him that is from the beginning who is from the beginning the heavenly father yahweh all right i have written unto you young men because ye are strong and the word of the most high abideth in you and ye have overcome the wicked one. Okay. Who's the wicked one? Now the wicked has been revealed, which is Edom. Okay. And also the scriptures say we're not ignorant of Satan devices. You know. So verse uh, 15. Love not the world, 
neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. So for those that love this world, the love of the Father is not in you. Okay, you can twist and turn and make up any f false philosophy that, you know, sh you know, rose your boat. You know, if it's not of the truth of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, you're going to be destroyed. You're numbered to that two thirds club. So it says, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. Did not we just see Kobe Bryant get put to death? Okay. Now you have uh, Dr. Umar Johnson, you know, stating some claims that. Kobe Bryant was uh was assassinated, you know, and he has his reasons. You could go look that up. Uh, he said the Rothschilds. He made mention of that uh the Edomites, that Roth the Rothschilds. All right, the head Edomites. Okay, the House of Esau that run this world. All right, um, you know, I ain't got to get on it tonight. You can look that up. But anyway, it says love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. All right, because what celebrities are falling, the stars of the stars of heaven is falling. Which are these celebrities? And I'm pretty sure, hey, the Lord could have it with more celebrities die, you know, this year. Because why? They have the love of the world. Okay? It says, if any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. So if you love this world, the Heavenly Father is not in you, man. He's not dealing with you. You're trying to hold on. Aryan, you know, Aryan spirits, uh, Willie D, Boosie, Little Boosie, you know, all speaking these, uh, uh, their proudness toward Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai as if they, you know, somebody. All right. It says, um, for all that is in the world and the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life, because that's what all of these celebrities have. This is all these these two thirds have. Not just the celebrities. I'm starting with the celebrities, but down to the uh worshipers that worship these celebrities. All right. You all have the pride of life. It says for all that is in the world, and the lust of the flesh, and the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life, is not of the Father, but is of the world. And the world passeth away, and the lust thereof, but he that doeth the will of the Most High abideth forever. And who's doing the will of the Most High? That will be the hopeful elect. All right, that will see salvation. All right. Right, so, you know, that's, that's basically it. I'm going to read Exodus 5 and 3 again. Just get to the point. And they said, the God of the Hebrews have met with us. Let us go. We pray thee three days, journey into the desert and sacrifice unto the Lord our power. Lease he fall upon us with pestilences or with the sword. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect. Shalom.